Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our legendary Yuan Shu campaign. This is episode 4. We pick it up from turn 18 in the winter season of 193. So hopping back into game, uh, we're setting up for a few attacks against Liu Bao and Huang Zhu. We want to wipe out Huang Zhu and I want to snuff out their city here in Xiangyang. It's quite heavily defended because they have a military infrastructure garrison right here alongside the city garrison. Plus, even though we see the armies decimated here with generals with almost no health, the instant we kill one of them, the others will heal back because you have friends and you also have family members, so they will heal back uh, when one of them is uh, taken out. So that makes this rather difficult. Our army's not fully replenished, not even close. Uh, we're about halfway there. So we're going to give it at least another turn because we know their units take two more turns to come back. So we're going to stand here and take one more turn of healing. Uh, we might even think about putting out our bandit character who has poison volley to help out. Uh, but she's currently on assignment with the buildings here, uh, which is fine because we'll just start the building, cancel it, and she'll be available next turn. Um, elsewhere, this fight needs to happen this turn. We need to come in here and take out these three guys. Now, they're not that high level. But the problem we have is we don't have any good weapons on Zhou Tai. He's still using like a very basic weapon. Yeah, we might actually... We might actually... Give him a great axe just for the extra armor piercing damage on here. Or a spear. Maybe a spear. You get a faster melee attack rate. Alright, we also got a new item this turn. A tycoon. Uh, which should probably go on Yuan Shu. Because you get 15% uh, instead of 5% uh, trade influence. You also get a little bit of authority points on top of that. Uh, Jade Archer for range damage boost. Interesting. Uh, this probably go on our heir, our son, once he comes of age, and I think we can just get our battle started here. Now the question is, do we want to pull Yuan Shu over? He's level 1, okay. Hmm. I think we can win this without Yuan Shu. We'll definitely do night battle, damage their morale, and then let's jump into the fight here. Alrighty, we're loaded up in here. Um, let's see. That's a pretty big city. I guess the only places here we should stay away from. A lot of towers. And let's see, where do we have better? We can just stay here, I guess. No, actually that tower overlaps quite a bit. Tower, tower. I think we'll just go on this side. And we'll blast down this wall. Take out this tower and everything over here. Leave that one and then attack from this zone here. Now I wonder if you can use the flaming shots to take out towers and stuff, but that will make things a little bit easier. We'll test it out. If not, we also have the archers that we could use. Alright, we can just start right here. Let's see if we can... Yeah, you can actually hit towers with those, so maybe we'll save these shots for the people inside and also the walls. It's dry weather, so it should be pretty easy to uh, take them out if they can shoot at it. Can they? Oh yes they can, good. Oh, very low percentage though. Fire damage. That's still fine. Their shots are pretty much useless in a city fight. I mean, we could knock down all the walls and have them shoot a couple units, but even then, if the unit don't clump together and stack, these don't do too much. Alright, we'll just let them take out the towers and such with their ammo. And then we're going to get these guys started on the wall. We'll first create this gap right here. And let their units come fill that gap. And then we'll crush the nearby walls to uh, 
kill those units off as well. We're waiting for this to go to 50%. 39. We're killing some units behind, so that's good. One more shot would do it. Yep, yeah, there we go. Alt. Go for the tower. There we go. Alright, here's where you want to wait a little bit. You want to see troops fill up this gap before you knock the nearby walls. And matter of fact, you want to like space it out like this. So that you have two groups kind of uh, lined up. That if you crush the middle wall, you crush both sides of the units. And then I want to get a duel started. But first we got to get the towers out of the way. Okay, 57%, that's good. Alright, so he's standing right here. If we crush this wall, he will die. And that's one less general to deal with. Well, actually... Hold on, hold on, this wall's better. We can kill Huangzu, I think, with this wall. I think he's close enough to register as a collateral damage when that wall falls. Hmm. All right, come on. Moment of truth. Actually, hold on. Oh, it fired. No, it didn't get him? Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, I wanted to pull them out with a duel and then kill them as the wall is collapsing. Right, let's get this wall weak first, and we'll try to pull that plan out. They both have a buff, so they can show up and register the buff on the enemy. Alright, that's good. We have one shot left. That's fine. Stop. Stop firing. Ugh, it went... It went again. Oh well, that's fine. Not in range yet. Alright, that should be fine. Alright, seal off whatever ability he has. No, oh, he has a good ability there. Perfect. Alright, four shots left. Um, we probably want to kill some units inside if we can. And to switch to this. Not a bad shot. I think they're all rotating, yeah. Soften up some of these uh, spear units. Use it again. Mm, not very effective here. We need a bigger clump of units. I kind of want to set this site on fire as well, so let's do that. We should win this, no problem. He doesn't have any friends. 
啊，皇族愿陈酒而 friends， OK。若是仅凭三言两语，便可免除刀兵，倒也罢了。I'm just gonna actually set the town fire with the last volley. Perfect. And you guys can probably, I don't know, just fire as the cavalry or infantry. We'll figure it out. You can wait till the duels finish. There we go. Okay, he's willing to duel. But I don't want to fight inside the city, so I want him to come out somehow. Hmm. Gonna move our crossbowmen up to try to kill the enemy cavalry. I'm gonna try to pull him at the edge of the range. Okay, that's pretty much edge. But what if we go a little bit this way? Come in for the debuff. Well, not debuff. Actually, buff on us. You get a little bit of damage resistance and all that, and healing. All right, we steal his ability as well. Crossbow. I'm just trying to stay out of their... Hmm, actually, we're gonna get hit by archers. Not worth it. Yeah, until we remove this group. We're probably gonna have to use Jotai for that as well. We'll make him climb the walls. No, you stay there. Oh my god. Opposite of what we wanted. You guys stay here. You guys stay here. Uh, they can actually pull out of the fight. He's gonna get angry and charge out. So, we could potentially catch him off guard. With turtle formation. Something like that. So if we can knock him off the horse, it'd be excellent. Depends on how fast we kill him. Gonna make it. Hmm. Going a little too slow here. 
Like, he's going a little too fast, and also they're slow. But we need Turtle to make sure we don't get hit by enemy arrow fire. Okay, went a little fast. Oh, he's not coming out. He's not in rage, just a friend death. Oh, he is. Come, come, come. Guide them to here. Alt. Ah, uh, he, he snapped out of it. Can we knock him off the horse, please? Brace, brace. See, that's nonsense. If it was us, we would have been off the horse. But this is our opportunity. To try to take him out. Just fight us. Yeah, perfect. Oh. How many did we lose? We lost about 11 men. Not too bad. Uh, it's a cone attack, so sometimes it just whiffs. Now don't don't run. Stay. Is he gone? Come on, one more hit. One more hit. Alright, we'll pull him out. Now we need to kill these guys on top of the wall. Oh, and these archers too. We'll start with these archers actually. We'll just scale the wall. We'll move them a little bit farther up ahead. He's coming back. Alright, their worst nightmare is here. We can probably snipe him. We have a bow. If he's not moving... Like this... We can snipe him. 13k health. Mm, do we not do enough damage or... Oh, it hits. Three, hit, three hits is about a, a K. I gotta chase that. There's still 80 of them left. I'm gonna bounce back. Okay, make sure we stay on the wall when we chase. Are they coming up to fight us? Oh, wow. Brave. Guard mode? Stand here for a little bit. I mean, we do have a lot of ammo. Oh, he's starting to route. Good. Once he start moving, we'll stop shooting, because then we'll be missing the arrows. Hmm. 
I want to kill those archers. Wonder if we can take the same rogue back. Nice. Alright, last volley here. Now they have one more shot. Go for it. Alright, we need to kill off these archers as well, so that our guys can actually do stuff. We'll start with this group here. He's coming back. It's okay. We got more ammo for him. Alright, go take care of those. Oh, did we stop his climbing? Right, he's back. Let's finish him here. We have four more shots. That should be about 2k damage. Assuming if we hit all of them. He's at 5.2 right now. Okay, 700 per hit. Not that. Okay, that hit. 3.8. One more shot. Uh, we missed two shots, I think. We only hit two of them. That's fine. He's really low health. Uh, these guys are back, which is annoying. That's the only reason we're not sending our archers up. How are we doing over here? Get them. You letting them run away right next to you? Single file line? It's like, stay away from Jotai. They're like, uh oh, we, we, we didn't make it through. What do we do now, guys? You, you die. They're just scooting away from us. They're trying to go from the other. Let's go from the other side. He's not looking. Jotai, come on. Oh, they decided to fight back. Put out their swords. Big mistake. Nice. Right, get through these. Get to these. And then I think we can start shooting at the cavalry over here. Hold on, this might be a good directional- yep, we got a good directional attack there. Yes, four morale there. They can pull out. I want to hit these guys right here. Without having these archers shoot at us, so that's why we're waiting. Oh, seems like the Z militia are kind of running away. We can kill the archers. Oh, they came back. 80 archer right here. Very brave. Oh, they're like, okay, peace out. Back to these. Spear guards. Uh, can we get to this group quickly? Oh, they came back again. A different group. 
This is a different group. 88. Where's the other group? Are oh, they routed? Okay. All right, fine. We'll just keep killing archers up here. Maybe we'll cheat out a few shots on these guys. Gotta watch out though. We don't want to get shot at. I don't want to accidentally hit the shield spear guards over here. That's wasting arrows. But maybe we'll hit these instead. Another group got lost. We'll let them run. I need to kill these guys. Turn around. There we go. That's a good Cohen hack right there. I'll we'll kill off these captain units right here. That should hurt their morale. It's the same thing as killing a general, basically. Can we stop them from running? There we go. This group got caught. Alright, we have taken the wall. They're pulled back. Let's go down. Alright, I want to kill these. These are really strong. That's the main target here. Come up, fire arrow them. That should hurt their morale the most. Are they coming back? Hold on, hold on. They might be coming back. Here they come. I don't think so. You guys want to fire your arrows? Face the right direction, Jota. We'll use this. Wrong direction. Wrong direction. Wrong direction. Where are you going? Still wrong direction. Turn. 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 There we go. Can we use this? Oh, come on. Won't let us use this. We're not technically engaged in melee attack. Alright, they ran away again. Good. So we don't want them to actually be here. Mm, can't really kill spear guards. Make sure they don't fire at us. Oh, come on, they started shooting. No, no, pull back. Alright, these are all spear guards now, which is annoying. Come on, you have one job. Make sure they can't fire. How are we going to beat the spear guard? I guess we'll use our elite unit. Faction-wide unit. Faction Unique unit here. Ah, oh, we lost some man here. Are right, we gonna use the crossbowmen to kill the cavalry? We'll move them up. We'll ignore this threat right here. I'm hoping Joltai can deliver us a win on top here. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Stop this. Alright. Maybe we shouldn't have advanced just then. Alright, we did it. Chase them. 
Alright, please don't come back again. Let's see how these guys work. Hold on, the cavalry though. I don't want to get charged by those. Um, switch formations. Go back to shooting team militias. You guys can pull back now. Can we bait out a charge? We'll hide right behind them. Come on, charge me. Alright, if he doesn't charge me, I'm gonna charge him with Zhou Tai. Go, 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 go. Actually, the cavalry, the cavalry, the cavalry. Let's see how they perform. I mean, they're not going to be as good as Axemen against shielded units, but we'll see how they do. Where are they going? Oh, they're winning here. 70. Oh, we lost 6, we killed like 20. That's not bad. Uh, let's see if we can flank the cavalry. Make sure they don't come back. to chase that. Okay, we won. They're gonna route. Not too bad. Alrighty, that was a relatively clean uh, siege there. Took a while, but managed to do it pretty cleanly. And we'll occupy. Bongzhou is destroyed. We have a nice level up here on Zhou Tai. We can finally give him reach. And I might actually swap this item over. Even though it doesn't really help his army, uh, his retinues, uh, it's still going to be really helpful for the army as a whole. And then Lady Feng leveled up. I think we're just going to go the top roll. She's going to be a combat commander with all these unique abilities. Now somehow Yuan Shu leveled up from that as well. Um, extra assignment sounds very helpful right now. Mm. We're probably going to come defend the city of Jiangling and they're probably going to go back to defend the Runan town. 
So it's probably going to be a rotation like this. They need to replenish like we said. We're waiting to recruit the bandit girl. And we do have some spare cash. Okay, let's see. This town's built pretty well. Um, we're running super high tax rates because we were out of food and out of money, but now neither are true. So we can boost that back down. I probably am not going to keep this long term. I think we're going to build the food version of the boost. Actually, this only gives us 25% extra food. This gives us extra money. I think before we get deeper reform, like this requires a lot of reform to get these two. Hmm. Maybe level two is good enough. We don't have to upgrade it. We can just get rid of this, put in maybe a forge, because I need weapons. Even if we get silver or bronze weapons, I need weapons. But I think maybe forge is better. And if we really want extra food, we can just send Guasa here on assignment. Okay, I think that's fine. Uh, what else do we have? A little bit of cash left. I think we want to lease a large town. We need to get back because Hal Hal's army are probably coming. And I think we're good. We don't have any money for turncoats. I guess Li Zhu would be the. Li Zhu and Zanba are both a little bit interesting. Zanba is good for captain revenues, which is not something we do, but if you're playing as like Yuan Shao, you probably are looking for him. Yeah, our legitimacy is dying down, which is fine, because we actually hit our prestige. Now we actually want to reduce our legitimacy a lot, so it'll be okay. We still have no access to any trades, which is interesting. A little bit sad. Maybe if we get a port. Subservice. Is this our unique version of Vassal? Or is this the MTU thing? Oh, everyone's a no, so it doesn't really matter. I still can't believe these two guys are in a coalition. Then again, we're best friends with Liu Chong. That's also weird. Uh, Tao Qian just never killed Cao Cao's father in this one. So they never went to war, and now Cao Cao's focus entirely on the West, on us. It's low. It's probably the lowest it's going to be. Oh. I might do this just for the trade route. Okay, hold on. Um, this gives satisfaction, which is quite good. This is actually quite bad. Like, surplus market assignment might be the best thing about it. We have extra horse. It's not very good. And he's not very good. We can save ourselves a little bit of money. We can peace out and also get a trade route with Dong Min. That's not too expensive. In the future, we can try to secure that. And no one else mind, so... Wow, instant green? Wow. Wow. Honorable treatment of their soldiers, release of their generals. Okay, so we've been fighting and building relationship as we were fighting them. So that clears up our northern front. So I guess uh, our capital is pretty safe. We can focus on Liu Bao real quick. And then we can peace out with Liu Bao after we take uh, Xiangyang. Because we don't actually want to go to war with Tai Mao. He's our other trade route. Zhang Chao. I mean, no one's really close enough to worry about. They're still alive. I don't know where they are. But, I mean, we got everything we want out of them. That's not happening. 
That's also not happening. Oh well. Pretty happy about the peace deal, and I think we can just end turn here. Alright, Taltal's army has showed up. Uh, full stack. Very impressive. Um... Hmm. We can defend the Jade Mine like we did earlier with his top notch speed. Also, is very fast though. The army here didn't show up, which is nice. So we're gonna show up over here. Now, what are, what are we going to do about this guy? This is our opportunity with them all so weak. If we don't take them, we're not going to have this opportunity again. I'm just hoping if he takes away March, Cao Cao doesn't have reach. So there's a limitation to how far he can go. I think we can actually pull this off. We'll buy ourselves a turn. We'll get them sieging. And then we'll run these guys up to reinforcement range. We know they don't have night battle. And we'll leave them and then turn around and fight them later. We're going to have to give up, I mean, we're going to give up mustering anyways if we move, but we're going to just march straight over. And after we win this, we'll turn around and fight them. Probably at the Jade Mine. Alright, Ventral is the only one left with a Simon possibility. Maybe it's time to look to recruit another character. Tactician, the level is a little high. Han Fu, is Han Fu still around? Oh, 190, so he left on first turn, so he's probably not a spy. He has plus 10 satisfaction right there. He's decent. I think we just use him to boost commerce somewhere, and it wouldn't be the end of the world here. Or actually, we can have her boost uh, industry. And she has 5% income from all sources in the future. Also a brown horse for diplomacy. I think she's the better value here. Okay, she can only boost construction. But that's fine as well, because we are trying to build up quite a few places here actually not here this is the one place we actually don't need build up if it doesn't get along well too bad we don't have enough money for a forge alrighty that's terrible uh we'll just wait then they move back we'll wait them to come out and attack and then we'll go back and defend I think that's the only way we can do it all right, we'll wait for more cash. Hmm. Reform-wise, we can pop this, get another administrator, which is interesting, uh, but I don't think we need one right now. We can go for this, level two forge, which was what we need and also give us seasonal deployment and also redeployment cost discount. So we have to go down this route here. Because we want at least level 2 forge. Yeah, I think we'll do that. These can all wait, because our, our towns are not the right level yet to take advantage of those reforms. Alright, we're going to enter again, let them come out and fight us. Alrighty, so they have the men back, uh, 25 in each unit as they respawn. They are not healed in terms of the general health, Liu Bao is the most healed. These guys are strong. They outnumber us 4 to 1. 
we're gonna have to fully utilize our poison volley quite a bit in our generals if we want to even have a chance here so let's go alrighty so she actually has gorilla deployment on top of poison volley we might try something but she's slow so she might get in trouble if she deploys too far the enemy cavalry will chase her down that's what I'm afraid of we have deployables which is nice nice help here because of the reform we got our reinforcement will come from here so we probably are gonna fight here We're gonna put the towers here it's raining Hmm. We're probably gonna hide her. Now our troops are gonna be pretty injured. Any chance we can just go give them a big volley right here? And most of these guys would die, given that they only have 25 units. Let's see if we can pull that off. Meanwhile, we need to defend this bank here. See if we can attract their attention. Ooh, shooting at us. No bells, bow. Get close enough. Right. Those bows hurt. She stood still. Got shot up. Fido ball finished. Did he get poisoned? He did. Good. So did Huang Zhong. So did Liu Qi. Good. Baba has extremely high morale. Liu Qi is unbreakable. So if we can get Huang Zhong to route, it would be the best thing possible. Now we want to poison those in the back. But the cavalry is really scary. Let's try to get the cavalry to chase Zhang Xun so that he can kite them with his top-notch speed. And we'll try to get a nice volley this way. Oh, that looks really tempting right there. Cavalry's are coming over though, I gotta hurry. Alright, that's good enough. Move, 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 move. They're chasing us. Fire, fire, fire. Two, three, four. Oh, she's in trouble. She doesn't have the speed. She needs to like hide somewhere. Good. We got the poison on them. Try to take out those crossbowmen. Alright, now we pull out. If they keep chasing us, we'll wipe that out. Oh, they're taking forever. Oh, that's expected. They're tired too. They're not going to fight very well because they're tired, so we really don't want most of them to reach us. Let's try to peel away this guy and kill him. Two point nine. Alright, we'll see if they can chase us back into this group. Mm, don't run into that. Just pass by. Good. Alright, I'm gonna have her come out back. Try to get another nice poison volley. Oh, 
好的啊。That cavalry is coming after us. No. Don't you? We need you. Peel that guy off of us. I think we got a good shot right here. Come on. Right there. A little bell is on top of us. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Ah, they smudged us. Oh, we got two volleys? My bad. That's not good. I didn't know she was gonna fire. Oh, she's done. She might die here. She doesn't have resiliency. We need her to route. Yeah. Don't chase her. We've only got three volleys down. She might recover. It's not that bad. Who do we kill first? I want to route him. It's kind of hard to just route him. Are they in position? Not yet. I <laughs> still gotta buy some time. <laughs> Alright, we can actually get him to chase us to this tower and then we just loop him around the tower for a little bit because we just have faster speed. Please bounce back. Maybe too much damage sustained though. They're coming. It drops negative two. There's a chance. There's a chance she can come back. Don't run out yet. Don't run out yet. All right, they're starting to fire. Take these guys down. There we go. Did we finally hit one? No. Work on your accuracy, man. Ah, uh, she's gone. She's not recovering. Oh, oh, do not waste your shots on these guys. I think it's because they're missile resistant, so it's doing like 50% less damage. It's not like we're not hitting them. Okay, there we go. I finally killed one. And that one clearly hit. Just that it takes more than one shot to kill them. Which is also a scary thought, because they're strong. Now I think the shock cavalry is going to be easier to kill. We definitely want to loot those. We don't want to be surrounded by those. Mm. They don't want to turn into the forest.
Here they come. Can I lead them into the forest? We do have spikes. Come chase us. Come, 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 come. There we go. This is perfect. Actually, they chase us right here. Alright, we're gonna get ready to fire with these soon. Chase us, please. Come over. We might lose the tower for a little bit, but we can try to capture it back later. Alright. That's fine. Fire. We can come over here with her, use this to slow down their units, so our ranged weapon can do more. Have their general run through this would be pretty nice. And then chase them over here, like the forest on fire. Too bad most of the cavalry didn't come this way. Keep chasing. General, run into it, please. Be dumb. Okay, they're dumb. Can we get a whack on him? We just want him to route, so not too much damage. Alright, slow most of these guys down. Time to run back. Do we light it up? Yes, run, run, run. Try to capture that back. Alright, we have to counter charge those. Not you. situation right now. Hmm. We're gonna have to probably abandon this front. See if we can use this ability to just halt this line right here. If we charge into here and just make everyone stop moving. That would be really helpful. Go here. There we go. How are we losing this fight? We have three cavalry units versus two. I guess they're full health. We're, we're three fourth health. And we have the buffs from him. I don't know how we're losing. It's our morale. It's a lot of militia units. And we're outnumbered, so it's tough. Alright. Can we get her to go here? Get him to go here. Rally back. Fight this. Pull him out. See if we can come here. Yeah, this line's broken. Try to pick up a couple of these easy kills. Can we route some of the generals? Just damage him a little bit more. He's so low health. Alright, if we start killing 
the archers, and if we could somehow rout the generals, we should be fine. Yeah, they're done. That's fine. Alright, we put a pretty big dent on his morale right there. Oh, who, who died? Oh, crap. Yotsi died. There's the massive heal. And the massive damage. Can we get away from him for now? Alright, we'll have to use that. Actually, see if we can kill those guys off. Ondon didn't heal that much. Uh, but I don't think we want to fight him. Pull these guys out. Try to get everyone here. Hmm, how are we going to beat all of this? I have no idea. I mean, technically we're defending, so we could time out the fight. It's also an option. Let's pull everyone here first. Yeah, he gets a full heal after his son died. I mean, we weren't even attacking his son, just our units. No, 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 pull away, pull away, pull away. What are they doing? Come on, capture. Hmm. Well, we'll try to kill some of these units. Because we're the sieging party, so it's like, even if they beat us, we're still sieging them. It's just, uh, as long as we don't rout, we don't break the siege. It's just a draw. So we still try to kill as many things as we can that are routing. We'll rotate. Oh, they bounce back. See if we can beat them. They should be able to beat cavalry, right? Or spear. Did we win? Yeah, we're gonna win here. Try to kill those guys after. Warm up. They should win that too. Yeah, we should win that. Alright, tower's doing work. We killed everything that's ran away. Let's go find more targets. Maybe don't chase. Still got some units here. Okay, they're grouping up. Let's try to kill these with just charging at them. If they're not braced, they can't do much to us. Now, obviously, we don't want to lose our mounts here. That's going to be a disaster. Oh, they're coming back for us. Run. And we do have a bunch of interesting abilities that we can use. So we want to hit them from different directions so they can't get the brace set up correctly. There we go. Let's kill off all of that. 
If their generals are not coming and chasing after this, we have an opportunity to actually wipe out most of these. Now the cavalry is really scary. We do want to stay away from those. Mm, we're going to split, so they split, and then we can pick out the weak person. Alright, go to work, go to work. Oh, no, 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 not you, not you. Tower. But they're not splitting? Hmm. Huh. A little worried about these guys. 13 minutes for us to last in this fight. Alright, they're splitting. Alright, she got a cavalry that's tough. He got a cavalry that's tough. Pull them together. We'll kill, try to kill a cavalry unit first. Let's see if we can do this. She need to hit this. Uh, she has to hit it now. That way she can pull away from that group. Should be quick work. They're low morale already. Here we go. They're slowed still. 10 seconds. Also lost 100% melee evasion. Let's get a good charge on them, please. Two seconds, one second. Ah, oh, they got their speed back. Alright, we'll use this charge exchange to pull our units away. Obviously, the closer we are to the tower, the better. So we do still want to go back here. And we'll play with a vision game here. We'll, we'll show our unit again so they turn around. Alright, he will counter charge. Can we do some damage to them? There we go. They're routing. Alright, so we got rid of their cavalry. It's a good first step. Might as well kill Huang Zhong. Knock him out. Actually, keeping him at this low health. Uh, they will heal each other, so I guess we'll take him out. A little hesitant, actually. He's getting shot right now, that's perfect. They're not braced. No way. Do you see that? He got knocked off his horse. After the charge was already done. BS. Alright, we gotta pull him really far away. Alright, we gotta pull this way, give him some time to run. My gosh, my gosh! Stand your ground! Uh, but I don't want to lead the troops towards him, or else he's dead. We can beat Huang Zhong one on one. Although I would love it if he, uh, I I wouldn't love it if he routes. I actually would love it if he dies. But once he routes and runs away, we can't actually chase him because we're on foot. Right, we're going to try to make our way back to that. Is Doba actually charging towards us? 
Actually, ideally, we want to fight him on this side, if we can. Thirteen infantry. Oh, Horned One's bounced back. Okay. Gotta lead them away from our horseless general here. Oh no, they routed. Alright, we got a split group here. That's good. Slow it down a little. Okay, you guys make it back. If we false charge, they will brace. Buy us a little time. We'll kite them instead of fight them. Let the arrow tower do the job. Good. They routed. They're still chasing? Not coming back? Need to start hiding. Go kill off all these. Do you stay and kill off these? See if we can track them over here. Alright, see who divides with who. We're gonna split off another force. I don't know what they're doing. They routed, Wang Zhong routed again. Try to kill off all these guys. Alright, I'm gonna poke him out again so that they see him. So they turn around. Alright, she killed off all those people here. Loop back. Go chase. Come on, I'm here. Be interested in me. Okay, there we go. We got a victory. Hmm, that's not right. How is that a victory? Did they all route? They all routed at the end? We won that fight? Uh, I'm really sorry for Huang Zhong, but he needs to die here. If we don't kill him and release him instead, he'll bounce back full health. And then there's no way we can beat a full health Huang Zhong with Liu Bao here. But even though we don't really want the item and I feel bad killing Huang Zhong, but we have Cao Cao's full stack behind us. We need to hurry up with this fight. I'll take money? Alright, that was the weirdest thing because... As you can see, we're not done with the sieging, and we got a victory somehow. I mean, it's still possible. They rallied, they sallied out to fight us, so if we beat them back, that is a victory. It just, did they all suddenly rout at the very last instant? Yeah, so we got rid of Hong Zhong's unit, which is great. The city garrison's pretty much decimated. Cao Cao's probably ambushed somewhere over here, which is a really scary thought. Uh, we need to get... Uh, finish with this battle here and then set up a defense probably in the city of Xiangyang because they do have a nice military infrastructure so it's also finish this and come after Xiangyang we can defend it here and the question is can we get a delegate win we can't so 
what will most likely happen is that we'll come back to this fight at the beginning of the next episode and we'll fight it. Now, although most of our units are like finished, we still have one siege. Oh, it's barely anything. This guy, we wanted them to retreat, but they didn't retreat somehow. They got caught up by some enemy cavalry. So we can't put a hole in their wall. We can use the battering ram, pretty much. Ram a hole in their wall. And then we're going to try to utilize Lord Jun a little bit. He's not that strong. None of our generals are that strong. We don't have weapons. Um, yeah. And we'll try to take the city of Xiangyang next turn. We have to. And we have to use it as our defensive uh, position to defend against Cao Cao's full army. Which should slow down. Because they need to take the Jade Mine first. Mm, yeah. And after taking that, we can try to make peace with Liu Bell. Because I'm pretty sure he'd be interested. Even though we executed his general, which might have been bad. But we need to win this fight. Elsewhere, we're probably going to push back into Cao Cao's territory over here. While Cao Cao's main stack is busy with us over there. Because I know he has another stack and a half, like a half stack over here. But things are getting a little rough. Um, being surrounded by Cao Cao and Liu Bao, both very tough. But Huangzhou is gone, so that makes things a little easier. This nice pink boundary are all Han territory, so they're up for grabs a bit later. Yan Bai Hu went north, which is a little bit interesting. But now we, if we can just get through this part, repel Cao Cao, and then we can easily um, you know, dominate the central plains after that, because I don't think Cao Xian is that strong. Liu Bei doesn't hate us yet. Uh, even though Yuan Shao declared war, he hasn't sent anyone down. And same for Wang Quan. Um, Dong Min, we got the peace deal. So things are okay. Uh, we just got to take down the city and hopefully not get destroyed here. And uh, if we can run Zhou Tai into Cao Cao's territory and just wreck his uh, food source, it should be good enough here. So hopefully that all works out, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!